to a brand new video and so yes can you believe it we are at the very last episode of the best in 2021 skincare product and if you are just joining us now fear not my friend because i will leave all of the video links in the description box down below so we have done cleanses serums moisturizers and now we are on to the piece de resistance of sunscreens and strangely the quantity of products in today's video is probably the least out of all of the other videos i have done but i really have been a creature of habit with my spfs this year like i found some absolutely incredible spfs that i really have fallen in love with and i just kind of haven't wanted to you know, stray too far away from them. And you will recognize a couple of my absolute favorites from a video I did back in the summertime. However, we've also got some newish additions into my collection, which I'm super, super excited to, you know, share a bit more about. And so first up, we'll go on to the first two products that are just absolutely incredible and so insanely affordable. And those are the Garnier Amber Solaire. So they pretty much look identical. However, this one with the blue line across it is the anti-age version and then this one with the pink line across it is sort of the anti-dryness version and the difference is because this one has hyaluronic acid and this one has glycerin. Not only that, there are slight differences in terms of formulation but noticeably also in terms of texture. So this one is incredibly like, not like fluidy lightweight but it is very lightweight and just no white cast whatsoever, absorbs into the skin um, and just effortlessly, yeah, just sinks into there and leaves you so glowing. Um, whereas this one is on the touch more little thicker in terms of consistency. So, you know, this is absolutely perfect for your dry, um, maybe a combination skin types, especially in the winter. Um, but yeah, this one is a little bit more thicker in consistency. And I know I speak for so many of you, but these were um, recommended. Well, I first heard them from Caroline Hirons, as I know so many of you guys did as well. Um, um, and yeah, they sold out instantly and you could not get your hands on them for such a long time. Um, but yeah, they're absolutely incredible. They're so worth the hype. I'm pretty sure um, sometimes on boots.com they have offers on, which is like £4, £5, something like that. So that makes it incredibly affordable. And yes, they do look on the smaller side of the spectrum. However, they are 50 mils. Um, and with sunscreen, you know, you're re reapplying it constantly throughout the day. Um, so yeah, it's good that, you know, you can get affordable and very accessible sunscreens that are just oh, incredible. And going on to my third favourite sunscreen of 2021 is another Garnier Amber Solaire product, which is the Super UV Face Fluid, which is here. Unfortunately, I have no idea what I did with this bottle. Um, I must have just discarded it once I finished with it, but this was absolutely legendary of 2021. This was such a good sunscreen and it just ticked all of the boxes in being affordable, in being super lightweight on the skin, but yet with maximum protection and no white cast. And if you think of the La Roche-Posay and Felios um, Ultra Light one, then this is basically identical in terms of texture and consistency, but at half the price. I did like a, a reel on this over on my Instagram during summertime, so yeah, I'll leave it here. <laughs> And this product also contains the likes of vitamin E, which is a great antioxidant just to really complement those sunscreen filters. It also has glycerin in there and sodium hyaluronate for your extra hydration benefit. And in terms of sunscreen filters, it's got the likes of ethyl hexosalicylate, it's got Uvenil T150, Tyrosorb S. It's also got avabenzone and two fantastic, really innovative sunscreen ingredients. Um, let me just get them on my phone. So they're called Mex. Mexoril XL and also a Mexoril XX. SX and that's just into decoder helping me out there thanks. I'm moving on to my four favorite sunscreen of 2021 is the Vici Capital Soleil UVH Daily which is an SPF 50. 
Plus. And that reminds me, all of the sunscreens that I feature here today are SPF 50 or SPF 50 plus, uh, with fantastic rating and certified rating as well. So, you know, there's no uncertainty with the protection factor for these sunscreens. And so this comes in at 18 pound, which is, you know, a little bit on the steeper side for a sunscreen product, especially a one that can be found in drugstores. However, this is absolutely wonderful. Is it 18 pound or is it 20 pound? And so this product is absolutely fantastic because it is incredibly lightweight. And I know I would say this many, many times, but really for my combination skin type, lightweight sunscreens is an absolute must have. Like I really don't want a super thick, chalky or white cast sunscreen. Well, who, who does really? Um, but yeah, I really don't want that. I want something that's really fluid that can layer well throughout the day because of all those different layers of sunscreen and still remain, like still make my skin remain breathable and you know, not break me out. Like that is all I ask. So yeah, even though this is pretty pricey, not the priciest, but still, you know, it's like, oh, do I really want to spend that much money on a sunscreen? I would absolutely 100% say to you, yes, this product is worth it. It just, oh, it applies so well onto the skin. Um, you like a lot goes a very long way with this and it lasts quite a while as well even though it's 40 mils it lasts a long time and in terms of sunscreen filters you're pretty much getting the exact same sunscreen filters as the Garnier Amber Solaire products however you've also got niacinamide in here as well as vitamin E so again the antioxidant support um, but you're also getting propandiol as well so extra hydration benefit for the skin and then moving on to the fifth favorite sunscreen of 2020 one is a very new addition into my collection however this just blew me away the first time I applied it onto the skin and really with sunscreens it's not about the results it's all about the texture the consistency and the you know reliable protection they have with them and that leads me on to introduce the new and latest launch from Beauty of Joe Sun which is their Relief Sun with Rice and Probiotics SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. And when Beauty of Joe Sorn launched this, unfortunately they didn't send it me in PR, which, you know, heartbroken, but we move. Yeah, I was super, super excited about this launch because knowing Beauty of Joe Sorn's development and formulation and attention to detail in all of their other products, I mean, think about the Dynasty Cream, for instance, and their Radiance Cleansing Balm that's just been reformulated as well. And you know, you can trust Beauty of Shosen to really deliver on exceptional quality of products and also with that exceptional and certified, verified sun protection. And I know I just previously said it's not really about the formulation because it's a sunscreen. Um, however, it's also, you know, very nice to have those beneficial ingredients because at the end of the day, it is staying on your skin. I wouldn't expect, you know, to it to cure your breakouts, your acne, or, you know, to really brighten your skin and tackle that hyperpigmentation. But, you know, you want kind of like the antioxidant benefits, you want the soothing benefits, and you want the hydration benefits as well. And this, they've absolutely hit the nail on the head with this one because obviously it has that rice bran extract in there that will just wax that hydration into the skin and it just makes a really nice complexion as well. And of course, you've got those probiotics as well. So that's just really going to help keep your skin's microbiome at check. It's not really going to sort of agitate your skin or disrupt it or in any way. Way sort, sort, such form, sort form, any way of sort. And in terms of texture and consistency, it remains creamy but really lightweight as well. So think of the Dynasty Cream, how you think it's, oh, that's going to be quite thick. This kind of looks like it, but yet yeah, it really just like, it it just melts onto the skin and just really hydrates the skin with like a lot of water content. And I'm pretty sure Beauty of Joe Son are retailing this around the 10 to 15 pound mark, um, but you can find it on the likes of Stylevon and also Yes Style, which always have incredible savings. And now moving on to my second to last favorite sunscreen of 2021, and that is the Eucerin Oil Control Sun Gel Cream. And so this looks very, very similar to the pink pigment control by Eucerin. However, this, this just hits 
different. And so the Uswin O Control SPF 50 does retail at £18, which again is on the little pricey side of the spectrum, especially for a sunscreen product. But again, I would not recommend a product if I really didn't think it was something special and absolutely worth the price. And you know with Uswin that you're getting well thought out formulations and really sound ingredients and really backed by science as well. And what is really great about this sunscreen is that it really just is perfect for your acne prone, your oily combination skin types. It doesn't have a mattifying effect, but it remains really sort of like layerable and it still has that creamy hold to it, like the, you know, like the Garnier Amber Solaire Anti-Age Hyaluronic Acid Sun Cream and also the Beauty of Joe Zen Sun Cream. And so it has your common sunscreen filters in there like Homo Soleil, Octocreoline, Avabenzone, Ethyl Hexyl Salicylate. It also has glycerin in there just to increase the skin's hydration. Um, but it also does have alcohol denatured in here which is nothing to worry about or be scared about and don't listen to the fear mongering of certain people um, because you know it's a really key ingredient especially in a lot of skincare formulations just to really sort of deliver the other ingredients in the formulation formula and then last but not least it is a wonderful very innovative sunscreen product and that is the EV Technology Daily Defense Face Mousse SPF 50. And I had the pleasure of testing out all of the EV Technology sunscreens this year, and I was just blown away by that mousse texture. It was just such a fun and unique way to apply sunscreen that really did make it so much more enjoyable and so much more exciting to apply sunscreen and with all of the EV technology sunscreen products you get incredible sun protection so it has been tested and verified that the sun protection can last up to eight hours when applied onto the skin which is just incredible eight hours like this is a force to be reckoned with it just really is and it comes in I think around 18 to 20 pound again so yeah it, yes it is on the pricey side but yet oh so worth it and you know it has like the sodium ascorbic phosphate in there so that's for your dark spots your uneven skin tone as well as a vitamin E derivative as well so you're getting your antioxidant support and let me just show you the foaminess How crazy is that? That is a sunscreen. Sorry, but I'm obsessed. And so that wraps up my favorite sunscreen products of 2021. I really have been a creature of habit with these sunscreens this year. Like this one here, I've gone through numerous bottles. This one is my second and also this is my second as well. You know, it's really difficult to find a sunscreen product that really agrees with your skin as well as finding the perfect um, texture and consistency. So once you've got that, just stick with it because you know you're set. And so that also wraps up my best in 2021 skincare products. I really do hope you've enjoyed this series and been inspired by some or most of the skincare products I have featured. I really have thoroughly enjoyed rounding up all of the products um, that I really have enjoyed over this past year and I will see you very very soon for a brand new one. See you later. Bye bye